All right, guys, let me drop some truth right here. So when you don't replace everything with new stuff, um, don't count on things to work right on the first try. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about in a sec. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the car is kind of in shambles again. And um, reason is because it fired up like right on the first try. Coolant is um, slowly draining. I don't know, I think I have another radiator leak. I might have boo-booed the, the install. Um, that's my blood right there. If uh, your car doesn't cut you a couple times, it, it ain't really your car yet. So. Um, yeah, make sure to make that blood pack with it. So the car started idled fine, but I could smell gas. I hop out of the car and sure enough, this injector is like leaking all over the block. So I quickly shut the car off and um, take everything apart and check it out. And um, basically this O-ring is donezo. So if you look, look at that thing. See how it's kind of like, it looks like it's missing a chunk, but it must have just like worn out over time. And um, basically this creates that vacuum tight seal between your injector and um, the fuel rail. If it's not a tight seal, obviously fuel is gonna leak all over the place. Um, I don't see it being an injector cup issue because you know, um, injectors seated in there pretty tight. So I don't see it being that. No other thing to suspect, but that O-ring. And if I'm gonna do that O-ring, might as well do all four. And um, that basically ensures that I have a uh, good seal uh, between the injector and fuel rail. Oh yeah, a reason why the black box is back is because um, this hose here, um, back when I was running the uh, cone filter, this hose I kind of decided to throw a breather over, breather filter on. A uh, friend was quick to uh, point out that, you know, oil from that breather filter would start to leak uh, to my belt and cause catastrophe. So basically the block gases are taken in by the computer and um, it's part of the calculation to get the car run, running properly. So without this actually going back into uh, the engine and the AFM, the car would run rich. Um, thank you, shout outs to the homie Chris for pointing that out. So basically if we wanna uh, be stubborn and run this thing, uh, we basically have to um, replace that breather filter with an actual catch can setup that feeds right back into the intake. Until then, I'm just gonna run uh, the uh, stock air box because it's, you know, it works and it's safe. So until then, um, need more monies. Day two. All right guys, so O-rings are here. Uh, shots to Rock Auto for getting them here so fast. Um, probably gonna replace all the top O-rings and the bottom one on this one because it's wiggly compared to all the other ones that are pretty um, on there good, so. Um, radiator was also leaking for some reason, but ever since I added, uh, grommets to, uh, these bottom studs and, um, fiddled with this clamp, it hasn't leaked in two days, but, um, have a little bit, but I guess I have some, uh, reassembly to do here. Um, but yeah, let's get to work on these O-rings and see, uh, if it still continues to leak after that. Right, guys moment of truth i'm nervous i hope uh, the o-ring fixed the leak but um let's see all right guys no leaks i guess we're good gonna button her back up and uh take her for a drive backing up first time in forever we're just gonna take it around the block and pull her back in See if water works. Alright. That works. Ooh, she's filthy. Alright, let's hope I don't break down. Because this thing doesn't have a license plate sticker yet. Nor is it insured yet. But so far it's feeling nice and healthy.
insurance for this thing. And um, might as well get the sticker renewed for this year. Brakes feel okay. So it took her for another trip around the block. Um, it's warmed up. Um, the idle has settled, and uh, I think yeah, she's um, she's fine. I uh, had to add a little bit more oil because uh, four quarts didn't seem enough. So added maybe another half quart. And um, yeah, so far so good, guys. <clears throat> My tire pressure seem a little off. Uh, definitely needs an alignment but other than that i think she's uh good to go brake pedal feels soft maybe it's because i haven't driven this thing in a while but we'll go ahead and check uh brake fluid as well but i think it's time to call Haggerty, don't you think get this thing insured get the sticker for it and um have her back on the road where she belongs with her friends i've actually been wanting to check if that ground cable that we got from the uh, junkyard has made a difference for the radio so let's uh let's check how that is no it looks like reception's still crap james oh well what are you gonna do Waiting for the fan to kick on. Uh, fan kicks on, so I think we're good there. So uh, yeah, I think she's uh, she's doing pretty solid. Actually, it kind of smells like gear oil. I've always had a trans leak, so um, I don't know. Maybe we'll figure that out this year, but not too worried about that. All right, guys. I uh, hope you're just as excited as I am. Things are really starting to get interesting here. Um, just got a quote from Haggerty. It's going to be 20 bucks a month to get this thing back on the road. Um, waiting for the documentation to come in so I can finally get the license plate stickers and soon get some decent tires on here. Uh, finally, an alignment. And um, hopefully, we'll see this thing back on the road regularly. So stay tuned.